before we get started today, an explanation is in order about our title, Dancing Lessons During the pre spawn Well, I can tell you quickly, it surely doesn't mean me doing a soft shoe on the deck of this boat in order to induce labor for my wife Diane to have a baby. <laughs> it simply means me sharing with you some early spring bassing tips just before the spawn. Since I grew up fishing shallow water bass in the tributaries, lakes, chutes, oxbows, runs, and backwaters off of the Mississippi River, I've gained a lot of experience over the past 50 years about how the largemouth bass at this time of the year selects and uses certain locations centered around water temperature, water clarity, also the importance of lure selection, color, and most important, presentation. So in the next little while, I'd like to show and tell you some of the things that I've learned about fishing the pre-spawn stage. As water temperature warms, bass begin their movement to the shallows. Dark, hard bottom areas on the northwest shore are usually the first to warm, growing not only the bass, but feed as well. In these areas, bass will select and use the largest form of cover that's available, which could be wood, such as logs or stumps, even vegetation that attracts both bait fish and predators. But at this time of the year, water temperatures are still on the cool side to create any sizable amount of aquatic growth. There he is. Where are you going, buddy? Look at here. <laughs> Come here. Easy now. Come here. I got you. Look at that coloration on that fish. Isn't that pretty? Boy, they like this little thing, don't they? A little crawfish. Pretty fish, pretty. See you, buddy. Yeah. Okay. In your search for early spring bass, it's important to remember that stained or murky water will warm faster. But clear water, if only slightly warm, will attract more fish simply because bass see and therefore bite better in clear water. And that's important because at this time, the water is still cool and bass are not 100% aggressive and still prefer slow moving lures. There he is. Pop. Oh, yeah. Coming right out at me. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Come on back. Ooh. Come on back up here, Buster. Oh, look at that fish takes off again. Well, where are you going? Look at <laughs> I had my hands on him. Come on. Woo! All right, come. I gotcha! Woo! Now, you don't think that ain't far from bedding up. Look at that pretty fish. Ah, oh, you pretty thing. You are gorgeous. Full of roll. See ya. There's no doubt about it. Springtime weather can be very unpredictable. Major bass movement toward the shallows is sometimes tentative. They'll move to the warming shallow areas, but they'll retreat quickly during a sudden weather change to the first break line and they'll remain there until the barometric pressure stabilizes and the water begins to warm. At this time, they'll journey back to the warmer areas. Water temperature must reach the low to mid 60s, normally before spawning activity even begins. Now what we've got right here, we've got an area, we're fishing at the mouth of a creek. This creek goes way up into a wetland area. This point on the left 
extends out a little ways and drops off in the channel. And what the fish are doing, they're hanging on the point and just off the edge of the point. And some of them are even in the gut of the creek. But they're real close to where this thing drops off into the main channel. Now these bass, a week ago, were thinking about spawning. They were almost back into the wetland area. And some of them were in the wetland area. But what happened, had three or four cold nights, had dropped that water temperature five, six, seven degrees. What they've done, they started moving back out. And then another cold front came in and dropped the water a few more degrees. Now where they've positioned themselves, at the mouth of this creek, they're right out here on the first break line in about six to 10 feet of water. But as this water begins to warm back up, what they'll do, they'll journey back up the creek, back into those warm water wetlands where they were before the cold front hit. So we've got an excellent location right here. So throwing right into the mouth of the creek, working the bait out right where it drops off into this run. Pre-spawn bassing can be some of the best fishing of the year and for the largest fish you'll see. If you've never tried it, then join me for my next pre-spawn tip as I tell you more tips that'll assure you of hooking and landing these big ones. I'll see you then.